drums in the woods. So, I have a story for you that you ex-people might or can explain. Be me, 2018. Get diagnosed with diabetes at age 30 because fat. Start eating healthy and go hiking. 2019. Lost some weight. Wife supports me. Hiking is our new hobby. Invite friends often to hike as a new activity. Show them all the good spots we discovered. This one time in November, we drink the night before, and it gets much later into the night than we planned. Good times all around. Next day, we're kind of hungover, so we sleep in and start hiking way too late. It's already getting dark on the way there. No problem, been there once before, I'll find the way. We wanted to hike in this ravine, it's pretty cool. Has a waterfall which is awesome, but the stone path is slippery, mossy, and wet. It's kind of remote and unknown too, so all around, it's untouched nature. But we definitely need the torchlights. And before, not a skinwalker story. The things that happened are not even that exciting, but it was kind of unnerving at the time. So we walk through the forest that leads to the ravine, when a fog raises up and makes it hard to see. Not spooked yet, it's just really dense fog. When we go inside the ravine, we admire the natural formations of rock, lots of mushrooms, and in general, liking the nature. The fog makes it nicer on pictures too. Then, friend A asks if we heard that. Confused glances. No, no one heard anything. Shrugs it off, probably some animal. Some time passes, and we make good time getting down to the deepest point. Then, friend B thought it would be funny to start climbing into one of the small caves, where some kind of wooden box was laying, joking that it might be a drug stash. While climbing, the idiot drops his phone. So, now he has to really get down there to get it. We wait around for him to make his way into this narrow cave, kind of worried he could get stuck. The box, surprise surprise, was not a drug stash, just an empty rotten box. He fiddles a while around in piles of dried leaves, finally finds his phone, suddenly says, What are those drums? None of us up here can hear any drums. I make some Minds of Moria joke that now the goblins will come eat him. Drums, drums in the deep, we cannot get out. I keep quoting because I'm just that funny. He gets stern and insists. No, Anon, I'm serious, I'm hearing drums. Friend A now chimes in and confirms that he believes what he heard earlier sounded like drums too. Friend B is still calm, just confused, and makes his way back up, pressing his back into the rock to get out. The last few meters, we pull him up. All agree that this was a stupid thing to do. You still hearing drums? I ask him. Faint, he replies. Eyebrows are raised. Like, down there? No, I think from there. He points in the direction we are heading anyways. At this point, I'm thinking that A and B are making this shit up because it's dark and spooky. Wifey is getting nervous by all this talk. She doesn't like spooks, at all. Wants us to stop talking about it. We continue on our way. Fifteen minutes or so later, goosebumps. Now I can hear the drums. They sound like they're some way ahead. Clear as day, but they don't sound like any drum I've heard so far. Hard to describe. The sound kind of changed pitch. Now I ask if the others can hear the drums. Empty looks from them. Wife gets really pissed. I tell her not to worry, it's probably some hippies smoking in a circle. Don't really believe that myself. It's November and freezing. She doesn't buy it either. We continue walking. We still have like an hour of walking ahead before reaching the halfway point. Finally, all of us are hearing the drums, including my wife, who doesn't find this trip enjoyable at all now. Drums getting louder, sounding like they're around the corner. Then, they stop. Friend A suddenly goes off the path, going to the spot, where the drums seem to come from last. Suddenly exclaims, What the fuck? We go after him and find... a rock. No one around, just a rock. Confused faces. The distance is kinda correct to where we heard the drums, too. 
The rock is smeared with yellow powder. Then we look closer and see what friend A is on about. It has been carved with all kinds of shit. No idea what this means. Pick related. It's the rock. The rock has a crevice that seems to go a good way down. Friend A thinks that the yellow stuff is sulfur. Cliché much? We make the pictures and go back to the trail. Make the rest of the journey without much talking. All of us kind of nervous. Get back to the car without any trouble. No further events whatsoever. Wife is very happy when sitting in the car. We Google the words as soon as we're home. No results. Today, wife says, Remember those drums? That was creepy. Remember those events and decide to post it on X to see if you guys have any ideas.